I feel like the term angel investor, as well as the concept of investing in startups, can be super intimidating. At least it was for me. Join me as I learn to become an angel investor and interview both investors who share their advice and founders who tell us their stories. I've sat at the table during fundraising rounds and I see who sits across from me. Less than 2% of VC money goes to black founders. Less than 2% goes to Latinx founders and less than two goes to female only founding teams. I'm a product manager at heart. So I'm always thinking about what is that core problem I'm solving for? Why are underrepresented founders not getting funding? And the core problem I wanna solve for is not that there aren't enough underrepresented founders starting companies, but that there isn't enough representation on the other side of the table. Another problem I've encountered in my process of becoming an investor is that access to information is gated, either through a network, education such as an Ivy League degree, or money. I'm on a mission to change that by sharing what I learned and empowering the next generation of investors and ultimately the next generation of founders. Subscribe, like, and share with a friend to follow my journey and learn all about investing in startups. Welcome to my channel. My name is Martina. And today I'll be talking about what is an angel investor and the number one mindset you need to have. Is it a disclaimer that these aren't my personal opinions from my personal experience and are not financial or investing advice? Angel investors are also called business angels, seed investors, or angels. And they invest their personal money into startups in exchange for equity, which also means ownership. 90% of startups fail. 90. I, I, I can't even do it, but you get the point. That is an insane amount of startups. So the reason why you as an angel investor are investing your personal money into a startup that is so early on is because you really believe in the founding team and you believe in the business opportunity. The number one mindset that you need to have as an angel investor is that you need to be comfortable never seeing that money again. Never. Let me repeat that. You need to be comfortable losing all of the money that you invested. It is possible that you will see zero returns. I know that one. Let's say, for example, you invest $5,000 in your friend's startup. Congratulations, that's super exciting. And things are going really well with the founding team for the first 10 months. However, over the next two months, something changes in the market and the company goes bust. You lose all of the money that you've invested in that company. Let's take a step back on who can be an angel investor. Angels can be serial investors, entrepreneurs, family members, or friends, and they can be accredited as well as non-accredited. If you're accredited, then you fit a certain profile according to the SEC. Angel investors have a little bit of extra cash lying around that they want to invest in something other than the stock market, real estate market, or whatever other traditional investment opportunities are out there to really diversify their portfolio. And while 90% of startups fail, the ones that do make it, the returns on that investment can be really lucrative. I used to think that you have to write really big checks to be an angel investor, and that is simply not true. You can write checks for as little as $500 and invest in really amazing companies. That's all I've got for you today. Thank you so much for watching. I'll be releasing videos every Tuesday. Make sure you subscribe, like, and share with a friend. Next week, I'll be talking about why you should also become an angel investor.